Hey guys. Okay, so here's the deal. Miss Gates's smart board is still broken. So we are just gonna do the best we can and we are going to look at our lesson on line. Now, remember, you will still be able to see Miss Gates's picture up at the top, okay? So I want you to look, listen to my voice. You can look at me if you need to, but our lesson will be on the screen for you to follow along with, all right? So before we get started, here are a few things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need your red math folder, okay? We are going to be using this page and this page, okay? You are also going to need, after our lesson, you are going to need this booklet, okay? And you're also going to need your blue game. So this very first game, okay? And a paper clip, okay? So that's what you're gonna need. You're also gonna need a dry erase marker and a pencil, okay? So for right now, all you're really gonna need is your red folder, with the tens and ones chart and the hundred tens and ones chart, and you also are gonna need that dry erase marker, okay? So anytime on Ms. Gates' presentation that you see a hundreds chart or a hundreds tens and ones chart, you are going to use the one in your red folder, okay? Oh, you're also gonna need your base 10 blocks, I forgot that. So, base 10 blocks, hundreds tens and ones chart, and your tens and ones chart and a dry erase marker, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and share my content with you so that we can go ahead and get started, okay? All right. So here we go. Today, we are going to be looking at a new lesson. We're gonna be looking at our Tara West math, okay? This one is a lot more kid-friendly and I think you guys are gonna like this one more. Okay, so today we're gonna to be looking at lesson 1.1, and that is place value up to 1,000. So it's basically what we were doing last week and over the past couple of weeks, except we only did tens and ones. And now we're gonna do hundreds, tens, and ones, okay? So our objectives for today say, I can use place value to describe the values of the digits in a number, and I can read the standard form of a three-digit number, okay? So our two words that we really need to concentrate on and learn today are base, uh, digits and standard form, all right? Let's look at our next slide. We already talked about this, the materials that we're gonna need for today. Your red math folder, dry erase marker, pencil, base 10 blocks, and your paper clip for your game in a little bit. All right, here we go. Now, in our class, we have 26 kids, okay? 26 kids. And if I wanted to group us in groups of 10, let's see how many groups I could make, okay? So if we're looking over here on the left side of the screen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I have 10 of us, right? So I put us there. We have 10, okay, that's one group of 10. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's gonna be two groups of 10, okay? Uh oh, I don't know where they went, but I'm gonna pull those back out. So we have two groups of 10. And I can do this, I can show that there's two groups of 10 by writing a two in the tens place, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and use your dry erase marker and put a two in the tens place, in your tens and ones chart. And then we need to look at how many are left over, all right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that enough to make another group of 10? No, it is not. So we would put a six right here in the ones place. So we know that our 26 kids is the same thing as two tens and six ones, all right? Now, let's go ahead and look at our next slide, okay? 
For our next slide, we're going to review our vocabulary words for today. Our vocabulary words were the ones that were in red earlier. They are digits, okay? And if you remember from last week, digits are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, okay? Now, any number you see in the whole world is made up of digits, okay? So if you look at our example, 6 is a one-digit number because it only has one number in it, right? It has the number 6. If we look at our next example, 35 is a two-digit number because it has the digit 3 and the digit 5. So it's a two-digit number, okay? Our last example right here. 217 is an example of a three-digit number because we have one, two, three digits that make that number up, all right? So digits are these numbers that make up all other numbers, okay? And then our last vocabulary word for today is standard form. Remember, standard form is what we call a number when it's just written using only digits right? So, these numbers are all written in standard form, 6, 35, and 217. Those are numbers written in standard form, okay? Now, each one of these digits has a value based off of what place it's in, okay? So, we have, if we have a two-digit number, that has tens in ones place. We have a three digit number, it has a hundreds place, a tens place, and a ones place, okay? So, let's look at our next slide. This is where you're gonna wanna go ahead and flip over and we're gonna be using your hundreds, tens, and ones chart, okay? So find that in your red folder. You're just gonna flip it over to the back of the page we just used, okay? Now, I'm going to write a number in my hundreds, tens, and ones chart. For the first one, I just want you to watch, okay? So you're not writing, you're not showing with your base 10 blocks, you're watching Miss Gates, okay? So here we go. Look at my number. All right, I'm going to write it in standard form, 325. Okay, so my number is 325, and that is the number written in standard form, right? It's written only using digits, okay? So there's a three in the hundreds place, a two in the tens place, and a five in the ones place, all right? Now, how do we read this number? Let's read it together. We read it 325. Five. Very good, all right? So when reading a number, we always start on the left-hand side over here in the biggest place, and then we move to the right, all right? So in this case, our biggest number is the hundreds, so we're doing 325, all right? Now, remember Ms. Gates talked about value, all right? Now, I know that each one of these places has a value. All right. Now I see three in the hundreds place, which means I'm going to do one, two, three hundreds. Okay. So the three is in the hundreds place, and that means that there are three hundred flats. Okay. If we see a two in the tens place, that means that there are two ten rods. And the value of the five means the same thing as five one cubes, okay? So we're going to put all of these over here. And now we can see the number is 100, 200, 300. So there's my 300s. Then when we see a 10 rod, we count by 10s. 10, 20, so 325, okay? So... What is the value of the three? We know that that is 100, 200, 300. The value of the three is 300. What's the value of the two in the tens place? It is 10, 20, right? So 20 is the value of the two. And the value of the five is five because we only have five one cubes, okay? 
Let's try another one. Now, you are going to get to do this one with me, all right? So go ahead and take out your base 10 blocks and your dry erase marker, and you're gonna have a chance to do this one with Miss Gates, all right? So here we go. All right. Our number that we are fixing to show is, I'm gonna write it down and see if you can figure it out first. All right. Now let's look at this number. How do we read this number? With a two in the hundreds place, a one in the tens, and a seven in the ones place. How do we read that number? Give me a minute. Very good. We read that number 217. Now, I want you to show that with your base 10 blocks. All right, so here we go. If we have a two in the hundreds place, that means we need 200 flats. Okay? We see that there is a one in the tens place, so we're going to use one ten rod. And we see that there are seven in the ones place, so we're gonna use seven one cubes to make, or to display the number seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. All right, so your workspace should look something like Miss Gates's. We should have 200 flats, one 10 rod, and seven ones. All right, now, since we have a two in our hundreds place, we're going to skip count by hundreds two times to find the value. All right, so our value is 100, 200. So this two means the same thing as 200. In our ones, or in our tens place, we have one 10 rod, which means we're gonna skip count by tens one time. So we just say 10. And then we see a seven is in the ones place, so we're gonna skip count by ones seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that two hundreds, one ten, and seven ones is the same thing as the number 217. All right? Let's look at another one. Are we ready? All right, I'm going to get rid of all that and erase my number. All right, here we go. You're going to show this number with your base 10 blocks. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, I want you to show your numbers 401. All right. This one might be a little tricky, so don't let it get you. You show that really quick. All right, now we see that there is a four in the hundreds place. So that means we need how many hundred flats? Four. Very good. So let's count those together. So we have one, two, three, four. All right. Four hundreds. How many ten rods do we need? None, right? Because there's a big old zero there. How many one cubes do we need? One. Very good. So we're going to skip count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, no one, tens, and then one. So we have 401. Very good. All right, let us let me clear my board while you clear your boards, and then we're going to do one more together before you are finished to work independently. All right, so here we go. One more number. Here we go. Ready? All right. I want you to show this number. Let's read it together first. What's our number? 
320. I want you to use your base 10 blocks and show the number 320. All right. Got about 30 more seconds. 320. All right. Now, how many hundred flats should we use? I see the digit three is in the hundreds place. So that tells me I'm going to need one, two, three hundreds. I see the digit two is in the tens place. So that tells me I need two ten rods. And I see the digit zero in the ones cubes place, or the ones place. So that means that I need zero one cubes. All right. Now, in order to be able to tell the value of this, we need to know what to skip count by. So in my hundreds, I'm going to skip count by hundreds. How many times? Three. Very good. So here we go. 100, 200, 300. Very good. Then we're going to skip count by tens two times because we have two ten rods. 10, 20. So we have 300, 20, and we know that we don't have to go any further because there are zero ones in this number. Okay, very good. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and take out your blue game that's in the back of your red math folder. It should say lesson 1.1, and it is a blue game. All right. And we are going, I'm going to show you in just a minute how to play that game. All right. So stay tuned. I'll be right back to show you that game. 